I want to stage Michelle Shackle. Jesus Christ, you guys. Uh, so I really picked the, the right place to do this. Literally all of my material is about how much I hate all of you. So this will, this is, this is gonna go so well. Are you guys ready? But uh, yeah, you know, I have to say on my way here, I passed a shop and they had a sign in the window that said unapologetically British. Like, what the fuck is that? That's not real. That truly doesn't exist, but sure. But uh, I'm from LA. I'm actually moving back tomorrow morning. That's not a joke. This is my last night here. Kick me out. See if I give a shit. But um, yeah, I, I'm trying so hard to get the fuck out. But uh, <laughs> believe me. But yeah, um, you know that quote? Like, when a man is tired of London, he's tired of life. I'm fucking exhausted. So yeah. But um. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was dating a British guy when I first got here, which was a real problem. If I ever have to have a grown man say the word nervy while he's literally inside me, I will be sick. Yeah, you think it sounds bad. Imagine, well, maybe don't imagine. Save yourself. That's why I got this flight so soon. I need to make sure that never fucking happens again. But um, he was what you guys would call middle class, which I think is really funny. I think it just describes this country just perfectly. Like in the US, our class systems are labeled a little differently. So we have, I feel like they're clear. We have the lower class, which is the lower. Middle is the middle. And the upper, take a guess. But you guys have the working class, which is to say they're the only people that work, sure. And then your wealthy people, are the middle class. You guys just got to the middle and just stopped. You just <laughs> tapped out. You're like, yeah, that's probably as far as we can go, I guess. Like, yeah, that is enough. That's how I feel. But, um, but yeah, it's like dream big, Billy. Shoot for the stars. If you work hard enough, one day you might even end up somewhere in the middle. Like, what is that? But uh, I think that is the biggest difference between the UK and LA, though, is kind of the attitude towards success. Like. In LA, we're all about it. Everybody wants to be like rich and successful. We're not ashamed of it, you know? And here, it's really frowned upon. Like, you can't say you want it. And if you have it, you definitely can't talk about it. Like, James Corden. You guys fucking hate James Corden, right? You, you, okay, you are the one person on this little island that loves him. But you guys, for the most part, hate him. And I don't get it. He didn't do anything. He's like, well, you know, I uh, have a car. Half of you are already like, okay, piss off. <laughs> But he's like, yeah, you know, I have a car. And, uh, sometimes I even sing in it. And you guys are like, he needs to die. <laughs> like, stop smiling. <laughs> you guys are just allergic to like self-help and happiness. But it's okay, because like meanwhile in LA, we're all literally removing our own ribs so we can suck our own dicks. That's, <laughs> that's yeah, that's how highly we think of ourselves and how hard we're trying. But, so we could all probably stand to compensate a little bit. But uh, yeah, when I worked in LA, or when I lived in LA, I used to work in a music studio before I quit to be a full-time bitch. And I, it hurts because it's true. But I used to work at Atlantic Records, which is pretty much just a bunch of like 14-year-old man children, SoundCloud rappers, running around with face tattoos, just fully armed, uh, who also have children of their own somehow. I don't know what kind of magic trick that was, but it was a weird place to work. It was like daycare with guns. <laughs> like, like jail, but make it rhyme, make it cute. Uh, they drank lots of hot chocolate, which is not a joke. I just think it's really wholesome and I wanted to share it with you guys. <laughs> yeah. It's weird being around a bunch of like rappers like that though. You really see who they actually are and they're actually very, very sad. Like, do you guys remember that song, Beautiful Girls by Sean Kingston? What the fuck was that song? He literally <laughs> said, what was it? He literally was like, basically, you're so hot, I'm gonna kill myself. Like, find a little self-control, dude. Like, women are the dramatic ones? Like, sure. Or like, you remember that song, Hey Ya by Outkast? Just in the middle, if you listen to it, it just slips right by, but he just goes, y'all don't wanna hear me, you just wanna dance. In the middle of the song. <laughs> It's so sad, actually. It almost makes me cry a little bit, but I think my biggest LA story, though, was probably when I was 14. Uh, you know, the biggest, 
the biggest, no, the fucking, the legal age to become a SoundCloud rapper. Uh, also the biggest age. But uh, I got pulled on stage with Justin Bieber at the Staples Center. I cannot believe that Justin Bieber didn't get a light. Don't do it now, dear God, please don't. But, uh, but so they just... <laughs> 